friend who's been consuming the black pill all day and sending you looks maxing reels every day says it's over for you and you won't pull any girls because of your negative cantle tilt and because you're not above six foot he constantly demotivates you and stops you from improving things you can change and keeps you in the bottom pit like him saying things like it's over for us bro we don't have any chance none of these girls like us anyway that you should just roll max Maxing has been such a huge phenomenon over the past three months. I've known about looks maxing for about two years now, and it's in a pretty small community on Reddit, but now it's actually such a huge thing. Almost everyone knows about it, and I think when it really started to pop off was when there was this trend on TikTok called like a negative cantle tilt, which is basically like your eyelid shape, and you have like a negative, neutral, and positive. And if you have a negative, that means that you're just deemed to be like an incel, like you're, <laughs> you're never going to get any girls. But I really don't believe that's the case. And I believe there's three ways that you can go about looks maxing. And I'm going to tell you guys today on how you can improve your looks and these three ways that will help you. Let's get right into it. The first one is getting into skincare. Skincare is really important when it comes to like, just looking and feeling good. I had acne throughout like my whole teens and I can say it definitely had a toll on my confidence because when you have pimples and you have spots all over your face, it really affects you because people are looking at it. If you have that huge pimple on your forehead right here, people are going to look at it because it's so visible and it put like my self image down. And I really believe that once I started getting into skincare, it really helped me. Like I'd say within a year, almost half of my spots were gone. There's three things you need for skin skincare. These are like necessities. You need a cleanser, so you just clean your face. You put it on your face, it's like it's like foamed, and then you just like clean it. Second is a moisturizer, just to like moisturize your face, keep keep it soft throughout the day, keep it not dry. And then third is a sunscreen to keep you your face protected from all the UV rays from the from the sun. But those are the three necessities that you need, and those three alone will keep you at like an above average level. You'll have above average skin. You, your skin will be looking good. It'll be clear. But if you really want to go into next level, make your skin look very just majestic and just make it look clean and the texture and everything be fine, you should get a facial scrub. And what a facial scrub is basically going to do is it's going to cleanse your skin from like dead skin cells and it'll just make you look and look way better and your face will just have like that glow to it if you know what i mean there's like there's like a certain type of trend where people just have a glow to their face and that's what that's what a facial scrub will do it will basically make you feel like you have new skin you peel off the dead skin cells and you have like new layers of skin that's basically what a facial scrub is second is working out now i don't have to get into why working out is good everyone in today's age knows that working out is just good for you you'll look and feel better You'll build skills like patience, confidence, and the gym is just the best place you can go to improve yourself as a person, not only for looks, but as a person. Because you'll build confidence over time and you'll just look at yourself in the mirror every day and you'll just feel like you're getting bigger. I don't even know if you're getting bigger in the gym. You'll literally have like a photo when you first went to the gym and you'll look like a year later and you'll be like wow i really gained a lot of muscle but in the moment you won't know and that's the thing is the gym it makes you feel persistent it makes you persistent in things like you'll have the patience because you know i might not see the results today but i will in a year and that's something that's how self-love is built and that's why i believe working out is amazing because not only will you get that self-love you'll also get the physical benefits from it. For example, your face will be a lot leaner and therefore activating your facial structure. So you'll have less fat cheeks, you'll have a nice jawline, and you'll just feel a lot better. I really do believe working out is probably the best thing you can do for self-improvement into the gym. And third is, third is probably the most important thing I'd say in life. This right here is what you absolutely need in anything you do it doesn't matter what it is and before i get into it i want to ask you a few questions how many times on the street do you see an average looking guy an average bloke 
with like a 10 out of 10 girl. A lot, right? A lot, because I see it all the time. Let me ask you another question. Why do you think this is such a huge trend within the, to in today's world? And no, it's not because he has a lot of money because I've met guys who have more average than money. They have beautiful ass girlfriends and they just work like the most minimum wage job where they don't even have a job. Some of them are just normal guys. And I'll tell you why they have 10 out of 10 girls. It's because they're confident. They have like this aura to them. They have this, the way they carry themselves. They don't take any bullshit. They're just so confident. And that's the thing guys is you need to be super confident and I don't want to say like egotistical because what it does to you is you just walk on this earth like you're the fucking man and that's the thing is you need you need that sometimes sometimes you just need to believe that you're like and all be all because it makes people question you it makes people question like why is he so confident so it adds that mystery and then there you go and then also making that first step and not giving a fuck about what anyone says is super attractive it is i remember when i was like i think this was like four years ago and i just had no confidence at all and i instantly just decided to tell myself you know what i'm, I'm so sick and tired of being the nice guy or this like, not confident guy because it's not getting me anywhere and then i decided to finally just start not caring obviously it didn't just come at once it just, it's a mindset you have to develop but i remember I, I just started approaching girls and then not caring what other other people thought about me and then i eventually started attracting girls i went on a few dates and it worked for me previous to that i got zero what i'm saying is confidence in youtube confidence in sports confidence in school confidence when talking to girls you need an absolute like high pillar of confidence if you want to succeed in any of those looks maxing is bad for you but if you put if you put it way that is good for your growth as a man and as a person then it could be good for you